I feel like sometimes, especially with comedians, they're like the only people who truly, truly get it sometimes. Do you think that? I mean, I know I am a comedian, so it sounds cocky, but I feel like throughout history, comedians are always, they've always been the truth tellers, you know? I mean, and I think it's true. Even when, if you're making something up, it's a reflection of the world we're living in right now. So you can probably get a much more accurate telling of history through various comedy. You know, even if it's Amos and Andy, what you're seeing is you see a lot of history in that where the country was, yeah. you know. Yeah. So not just like in, in the brilliance of the comedy, but what the comedy is and what plays as comedy. You know, all along, you could probably get a more earnest, more honest version of comedy through that, um, through comic strips even, through all that stuff, more than, you know, what, what's decided to put in history books. I do think, like, history does see the truth, ultimately, and that's what I'm counting on in this world where truth has no currency, that hopefully when it's all in the past, there will be some kind of perspective on it or we'll be completely living in Handmaid's Tale. Speaking of perspective, um, is it difficult for you? Do you get scared to say certain things? Because nowadays, com especially comedians, they'll say a joke and it's clearly a joke and people just take it the wrong way and forget that it's a joke and then run with it. Like, do mm -hmm. you feel like they don't, people don't put perspective into it? People get very excited at feeling righteous, if getting you and stuff. Yeah. And, and I'm guilty of that too and I'm trying to be very aware of it that things aren't always black and white. I mean, I'm not talking about the oligarchy and the money addicts that are running this country right now, but just in terms of people saying the wrong thing or doing the wrong thing, you have to give people some amount of leeway and give them an opportunity to, to change with new information and let themselves be changed. Yeah. You know, but it's very easy to be like, get very excited at being righteous, you know, and, and murdering someone on Twitter or something where you don't see their faces. You don't see remorse or, or anything, you know. So it is, it can be hard. I mean, listen, when you're a comedian lately these days, you gotta think twice before you tweet something. I mean, who do we think we are, presidents? <laughs> but uh, I do, uh, I can't help it. I, I, I'm, it's beyond my control. I. I I say stuff. Yeah. The world is, is uh, merging and everyone's becoming a part of everyone, but there's a big thing in our, my community called culture vultures, where you know, it's, well, people, different people take from our culture. Oh yeah, Pro appropriation. Yes, how do you feel about that? Um, it, it's made me feel very um, tentative in a way that I haven't before, and I think it's bad and I think it's good in terms of me, so, you know, because it's true, it's like, uh, braids, you know, and uh, and vocabulary, words and phrases, and I catch myself a lot um, because I go, ah, oh, fuck, you know, like I don't want to be a part of that, but I also don't want to not let myself be influenced by others. The important thing is to just know where it came from and mm -hmm. and ha have a mindfulness about it. Yeah. So I'm trying to do everything right. You know, um, there's been a real separation in like feminism, feminism even like black feminism, white feminism thing. And that just like, it makes me so bummed out, you know, like uh, this woman wrote this poem, where were you, where were you? And it was like brilliant. But part of me wanted to go like, I was right next to you. Like I'm trying <laughs> to be an ally. I'll do anything you want. I just, uh, people's rights matter to me, you know, yeah, yeah. but I also, really understand how ignorant I've been for so many years. I mean, my favorite example, and a favorite's are really weird because it was horrifying, but it was like a, an awakening and a, and a shame-filled awakening where a couple of years ago I go, oh my God, there's an epidemic where cops are murdering unarmed black teenagers. And then a few moments later I went, oh my God, this isn't an epidemic. This has always been this way. I'm just aware of it yeah. because of social media. And that was, that was such an intense thing to realize and, and also feel so ignorant for, for so many years of, of ignorance, you know? And, um... Godzilla! Yeah. Zilla bitch!